Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The spring is officially here and with it comes two new vehicles for us to unlock. The Nissan GTR Nismo edition is here and I could not be more excited. All we need to do is bang out 20 points in the spring season. There's a whole bunch of events that are really, really easy, so it shouldn't take you very long. This car isn't DLC. Spoiler alert, the Nismo GTR actually has a wide body kit for it, so we'll check that out in a second. Before we get into that thing, the Forzathon shop for the week, the McLaren P1, a festival sombrero, and a Porsche Macan. Okay. The second car that we can unlock this week is this, the Ferrari 488 Challenge car, which we're actually going to be checking out tomorrow. So if you want to see this car in more detail, I'm going to be checking out the customization, seeing what it's like to drive. If you want to see that video, Video, make sure you subscribe because that's going to be coming tomorrow. I guess without further ado, let's go bang out 20 points in the spring season and get our Nismo GTR. 18 minutes and we've got the Nissan GTR. This is our 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo edition. It's got 600 horsepower, nearly 500 foot pounds of torque. It doesn't get much better than a GTR, does it? You have no idea how long I've been waiting to say this. This wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Nismo GTR. Let's go! For those of you who don't know, Nismo is essentially the upgraded versions of Nissan. The same way BMW has BMW M cars or Mercedes has AMG cars, Audi with RS cars, Nissan has Nismo. Essentially for the GTR, they take the standard GTR, they add a little bit of extra horsepower, this one, I think, has like 50 extra horsepower over the regular one. It's also a little bit lighter. It's got carbon fiber bumpers. This is essentially the ultimate GTR. However, with this GTR brings something not so great. This actually marks the end of the GTR. Nissan will actually not be making a 2022 Nissan GTR for Australia or New Zealand because it no longer passes like requirements for side impacts. The UK will also no longer be selling GTRs as of this month because they no longer pass the requirement for noise regulations. And all of that is because Nissan is making an R36, which is rumored to be a hybrid. What I didn't know though, is that Nissan has been absolutely booming the price of these Nissan GTRs. No joke, a couple of years ago, you could actually buy a Nissan GTR for like 80, 70, 60,000 bucks. Those same vehicles today cost anywhere from 100 to 90 to $80,000. Can you imagine being a person who bought a Nissan GTR a couple of years ago and sold one before they went up in value. Imagine the moron who would have done that. This is my GTR and it's currently for sale. Also, it's pretty quick in Forza Horizon 5, as it turns out. Our GTR is already at the middle of S1 class. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of builds with this thing. I think this thing might be a fun drag car, actually. However, I think I wanna start this off S1 class race car. Like I said, there is a wide body kit for this thing from Charge. And take a look at what this thing does. That is so so cool, a proper Nissan GTR wide body. We've got some different side skirts, all out of carbon fiber, and even some blue titanium exhaust. That's awesome. There are no engine swaps available for the R35. So this is all we've got. No V8 swaps, no 2JZ swap. We are sticking with the 3.8 liter twin turbo. Since we're gonna be racing this thing, let's keep it all wheel drive, and we do actually actually have some rear wings. We've got two, ch whoa, charge rear wings. That looks sick. And the really cool ducktail. We've even got a big country labs rear wing and, and the Forza rear wing. Let's start it off with this one. I, I really like that. 
We've also got a modified hood. Yo, I'm not going to call it ricey because people will cancel me. It's definitely an interesting looking hood. I'm going to do it. So we're actually on semi slick tires bone stock. So I think that's where we're going to stay. We can get slick tires. We can come in here, get drift tires. We will come back to that. Let's make them a little bit thicker, 285 in the front. And let's go full grip in the rear. When I had my GTR, one of the things that annoyed me the most was that it didn't have a seventh or eighth gear. These GTRs, when you actually swap exhausts on them in real life, they become unbelievably loud. So I was sitting on the highway doing 100 kilometers an hour at like, what, 3,000 RPM, and your ears are just ringing from this super loud noise. So Nissan, just a heads up for the future, seven speed or eight speed gearbox, please. Let's get some race suspension on here. We can toss on some drift suspension. Forza is not doing us dirty this week. We definitely need some weight reduction. GTRs are kind of notorious for being super heavy, so yeah, maybe saving 600 pounds isn't a bad thing. And then last but not least, let's just get a little bit extra horsepower so we can be at the top of the class. After all of our upgrades, 3,300 pounds. That's awesome. 631 horsepower. That's awesome. This thing's gonna be so sick. This car is already living up to my expectations and I've driven it in one race. I really, really like the white on them. So we'll go for that. We've got our carbon fiber hood already. I love, oh, really? 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 And tint up the windows. It doesn't look like a Nismo anymore, but it is really sick. Let's see what we got. Away we go, Nismo. We've got hella horsepower now. There's a CLK GTR. You don't outrun one of those every single day. That's awesome. We're actually racing against a bunch of really high horsepower Formula Drift cars. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna need to slipstream on them. You can see they're actually pulling away from me very slightly out of the corners. I'm gonna need to rely on brakes and downforce. So there we go. Come on, Nismo. This thing's actually very good in the corners now. Like, surprisingly good in the corners now. You usually think of GTRs that kind of struggle in the corners because they're heavy, they're all-wheel drive. This thing is nice. Bro, that turn-in is incredible. Medium speed corners, it's so good. I'm actually blown away by this thing. We're actually having a very good battle with the Lambo. Come on! Reel him in! Oh, we're gonna get him. Got him! Let's go, Nismo! So as it turns out, all the carbon fiber bumpers, the lightweight roof and everything, they do actually make your vehicle a, a whole bunch better. When I came into this, I thought the GTR would be good. Like, GTRs are always pretty good cars but they kind of struggle when it comes to racing. That thing is just, it's so nice to drive. Racing is clearly a strong suit for the GTR. But how about drag racing? I don't actually know what to expect from this thing considering it doesn't have any engine swap. Do I want the wide body kit? I don't think I do. It makes me like a hundred pounds heavier. What we are gonna do though, although it might not make us too much faster, we are gonna come in here, swap on that rear wing. I think it just looks awesome. I feel like if you saw a GTR with a rear your lip like that. You do not want to mess around with it on a drag strip. Let's get some drag race tires. That actually drops us down into A class. Oh boy. We've also got some engine spacers on the non-wide body version. So that's nice as well. Uh, and then again, we'll get some big old weight reduction. 3,200 pounds. Yo, 169 horsepower from our twin turbos. After all of our upgrades, we are S1 class. 3,200 pounds, 1,000 horsepower in our GTR. It would have been cool to get some engine swaps to be able to get like 1,300, 1,500 horsepower. Anyways, this should be a quarter mile car, so I'm going to kind of tune it for that. If any of you guys want to try my quarter mile drag strip out for yourself, feel free. There's the share code. All right, so what do we think? Quarter mile for 1,000 horsepower GTR. Probably like mid nines because it's kind of heavy. If we had some better upgrades, I would definitely be hoping for like a mid eight, low eight with this thing. Let's go though. A sus first gear, I'll need to fix that. That's a lot of gear changes. Apparently the GTR hooks up way better than I thought it would. I've adjusted my tune a little bit. Let's see if I can go for an 8.5. 
I feel like it's totally possible. Come on. Oh, I got to extend my gears a tiny little bit more. Shoots a flame across the line. There is an 8.4 though. Honestly, if you're really good at tuning, you might be able to get that into the sevens. Like if you go try hard and you actually use like controller layout nine or something, I think there's definitely some potential there. Another 8.4. Considering that it's got so little horsepower compared to some other vehicles and it's heavy, that's really good. Anyway, since we've already got all of this horsepower onto our car, I feel like I should quickly swap on some slick tires and a big old rear wing and just see what it can do around a circuit fully upgraded let's see what you got buddy we're racing some very cool cars out here we should be even grippier than we were before because of our upgraded tires and that massive rear wing now we can see what it can do yeah that's good yeah that's that that's really good how is it that good? It's got it's got some understeer. There it is. This is where we've got a gain on the AI through these little twisties. How are we in the high speed corners? It's sketchy. Oh my god, the AI breaks early. Sorry. It's definitely got a little bit of understeer, but let's be honest, what GTR doesn't have a little bit of understeer? Yo, this thing is sick. I love it. I love this car. You've really got to ring out the gears on this thing. If it sounds like you're gonna blow up the engine, then you are driving it correctly. <laughs> That's the other thing I'm realizing with this. I, I don't trust it in those corners anymore. With that amount of understeer, it's a little sketchy. It's not as good as it was before. It's still a really, really awesome car, super quick. It's not as satisfying to drive as it was before. I, I, I mean, I promised, I promised that we would do it. We're going to go and drift our wide body Nissan GTR Nismo. You know what? In real life, there are GTRs that are rear wheel drive. Twitch chat, do I want this to be rear wheel drive or all wheel drive? I'm not actually sure. A lot of Twitch chat actually wants rear wheel drive. Okay, we can make it a little bit more realistic then. We're not going to be able to get crazy amounts of score, but I think we should be okay still. Anyways, we're also going to go for that rear lip again. I think that just looks awesome. And then we're going to go for some drift tires on this thing and then just our drift suspension. And I think we're ready to go. We've already got all the horsepower. We've already got weight reduction. We're going to go hit up the volcano drift zone. I'm not going to beat my personal best with this thing, but... It still should be pretty fun. I'd be pretty happy with like a million, 900,000. Anywhere around there would be good. It's already sliding. That is what we like to see, bro. Whoa. Whoa, that's really nice on drift suspension and, and rear wheel drive. It really doesn't feel that heavy. Again, I was like, it's a GTR. It's gonna feel kind of heavy, kind of like sluggish in the corners. Bro, that's nice. 300,000 points already. And just look at how smooth it is in the corners. I think this month it was very clear that the developers put no thought into any of the other cars. They literally focused on the Nismo, making it as good as it could be, feeling as good as it could be. That's nearly half a million points at the two mile mark now. That's so good. I mean, we probably would have blown up our gearbox by now with all of the banging off the rev limiter, but let's just say it's a good thing it's a video game. Looking good, GTR, 700,000 with a mile still to go. We might actually be able to get a mil. Keep it going, GTR. Look at those tail lights. how mean do those look? 900,000 points, 940. Keep going. Oh, it's going to be close. 970, 980, 990. It's going to do it. One million points. That was close. That was so close. It's awesome to drive regardless of what you do. It's just, it's just fun.